Welcome to Sri Balaji Vidya with Indira Gandhi Institute of Dental Sciences. Today we are going to discuss a topic about topical fluorides. Content, introduction, indication, contraindication, advantage, disadvantage, recent advance of topical fluorides, techniques, types of professionally applied topical fluorides. Definition, the term topical fluoride is used to describe those delivery system which provide fluoride for your local chemical reaction to the exposed surface of erupted dentition. Indication, caries active individuals, children shortly after the periods of tooth eruption, especially those who are in caries free, those who take medication that reduces salivary flow radiation therapy, most post-periodontal surgery whose roots are exposed. Contraindications, when no stains are present, patients who are at high risk of dental caries, sensitive teeth, newly erupted teeth. Advantage, requires only two application in a year and this thus suited for most dental office routines. The gel preparation can be self-applied and the cost of application also get reduced. It has the ability to deposit fluoride in enamel to a deeper depth than a neutral sodium fluoride or stannous fluoride. Acidulated phosphate fluoride is stable and need not be freshly prepared for each individual. Disadvantage, practical difficulties like the teeth should be kept wet for 4 minutes a repeated application pesticides, the use of suction, thereby minimizing its use in the field. This also increases the chart site time making. This method is most expensive. It is active, sore, or bitter in taste. Recent advance in topical fluoride. Intraoral fluoride releasing device are those which releases a predetermined quantity of fluoride inside the mouth over a long period when attached to the tooth surface. It consists of a rate controlling membrane inside which a central dipped of fluoride containing plastic copolymer matrix is embedded. The release of fluoride ions is into a oral cavity regulated by the matrix core of the copolymer membrane. The device releases of 0.02 to 0.2 ppm of the fluoride for a period about 3 to 4 months. Topical fluorides are divided into two categories. One is a professionally applied fluoride product, uh, second is self applied fluoride products. Uh, types of professionally applied fluoride pro topical fluorides varnish gel and foam Va fluoride varnish to highly concentrated topical fluoride treatment can reverse white spot lesion safe for young children easy to apply advantage provide find it easy to use and fast to apply fluoride varnish can be swapped directly into the teeth in less than three minutes and sits within a minute of contact with saliva Gels and foams requires use of suction, air drying, the teeth trace that may be trigger, gag reflex and several minutes of contact with the teeth. Disadvantage, yellow discolorization of teeth gradually fades, undesirable taste in the mouth after the application. Fluoride varnish application, do not brush or floss for 4 hours, avoid hot sticky foods, avoid alcohol, refrain from fluoride until the next day, discontinue fluoride tablets for 2-3 to three days. We are going to discuss a professionally applied topical fluorides. It was introduced by Bibi in 1942. Bibi in 1942 was the first to demonstrate that the requested application of sodium or potassium fluoride to the teeth of the children significantly reduces their caries prevalence. This achievement became the forerunner of many studies to test the effectiveness of various topical fluorides and the effective method of its application. Involved the use of high fluoride concentration products ranging from 5000 to 19000 ppm which is equivalent to 5 to 19 mgf ml techniques there are th three techniques sodium fluoride stannous fluoride and acidulated phosphate fluoride first we're going to discuss about sodium fluoride neutral sodium fluoride was the first fluoride compound to used for the topical fluoride application a minimum uh, of four application of with two percentage of sodium fluoride solution gives a caries reduction of about 30 percentage methods of preparation of sodium fluoride it is prepared by dissolving 20 gram of sodium fluoride uh, powder in one liter of distal water in plastic bottle it is essential to use plastic bottle because if stored in a glass bottle it may react with silica and form silicon fluoride thus by reducing the availability of free active fluoride of anti caries action fluoride gels fluoride gel products include neutral sodium fluoride and acylated so phosphate fluoride with the fluoride concentration of 5000 ppm and stannous fluoride with the concentration of 1000 ppm the gels are either applied in a trace or brushed on teeth professionally applied gives can give uh, twice a year self applied can give once a day or more home fluoride gels are not recommended for children below 6 years and younger fluoride gels it was developed in 1960s it is usually in 
1.23 percentage it is a uh, methyl cellulose or hydroxy ethyl uh, used as a gelling agent advantage it is relatively stable when kept in a plastic container the taste is well accepted by the patients the solution is non irritating to the gingiva it does not cause discoloration of the tooth structure the series of treatment must be repeated only four times in the general range of 3 to 13 rather than the annual to semi annual intervals disadvantage the major disadvantage of use of sodium fluoride is that the patient must make four visit to the dentist with a relatively short period of time stannous fluoride stannous fluoride has been used at 8% and 10% concentration solution of stannous fluoride are not stable soon after mixing they become cloudy due to the formation of tin hydroxide a fresh solution of sodium fluoride is prepared for each patient to prepare 8% of stannous fluoride solution the content of one capsule which is 0.8 grams is dissolved in 10 ml of distilled water in plastic container technique of application muller's technique each tooth surface is cleaned with pumice or other dental cleaning agent for 5 to 10 seconds unwaxed dental floss is passed between the interproximal areas teeth are isolated and dried with air procedure for application of stannous fluoride muller's technique teeth are cleaned with aqueous pumice slurry unwaxed dental floss is passed between the interproximal areas teeth are isolated and dried with air stannous fluoride is applied using the paint on technique and the solution is kept for 4 minutes repeat application is made every 6 month or more frequently if the patient is susceptible for caries advantages using an 8 percentage of stannous fluoride solution at 6 to 12 months interval confirms to the practicing dentist usual patient recall system administrative difficulties are avoided disadvantage in aqueous solution the material is not stable 8 percentage solution is quite astringent and disagreeable in taste its application is unpleasant the solution occasionally causes reversible tissue irritation manifested by gingival blanching causes pigmentation of teeth which has a light brown color acetylated phosphate fluoride acetylated phosphate fluoride was introduced in 1960s by Dredewold and his co-workers at the Forsyth Dental Center Boston and Massachusetts methods of preparation of acetylated phosphate fluoride an aqueous solution of acetylated phosphate fluoride is prepared by dissolving 20 mg of sodium fluoride in 1 liter of 0.1 m phosphoric acid and the 50 percentage of hydrofluoric acid added to the adjust the ph at 3.0 and fluoride ion concentration is 1.23 percentage it is also called as dredewolds solution for the preparation of acetylated phosphate fluoride gel a gelling agent methyl cellulose or hydroxyl ethyl cellulose is added to the solution and the ph is adjusted between 4 to 5 procedure for acetylated phosphate fluoride the patient seated upright position in a chair and oral prophylaxis is done and the teeth are treated completely clinically application of acetylated phosphate fluoride gel by the tray technique disposable foam lined tray is preferred to reduce ingestion a minimal amount of fluoride gel cap coverage of tooth surface the patient is asked not to swallow the gel but to extend slight pressure using the cheek and the tongue as well as a light beating force or in order to causes the gel to flow interproximally the gel thins out under the biting force because of the thixotropic nature the fluoride gel should be in mouth for 4 minutes and remaining uh, oral fluid should be expirated a saliva ejection is used to wipe out saliva and excess fluoride the patient is instructed not to eat drink and rinse the mouth at least 30 minutes advantage requires only two application in a year the gel preparation can be self fed and the cost of application is gets reduced it has the ability to deposit fluoride in enamel to a deeper depth disadvantage practical difficulties like the teeth should be kept for 4 minutes it is acidic sore and bitter in taste it can be stored in glass containers thank you